Welcome back. We're going to try some puzzles on Woogles.io. So the game in question is OMG Words, and they introduced a new mode on Woogles that uh, is called Equity Puzzle Mode. And the idea is that between the points you score on whatever word you play, combined with the value of potentially the next play based on which letters you have remaining, known typically by players of OMG words as equity, um, you're trying to predict based on those two factors, point scored and quality the letters left over, uh, which play is the best play here. This could be quite challenging for me because I don't know all the words. Not close, not anywhere close, so this is going to be a tremendously difficult exercise. Um, hopefully, I don't know, some fellow players do show up and play along. If not, uh, we'll see my ability to try to produce challenging words. Here we see that I've drawn two U's and a C and a blank. So there's probably some clever word using the L that's on the center square and using all of these tiles that somehow pulls it all together. I can't imagine what that word would be, but, you know, if there were a word, it probably is not through the C and the second column, the B column unless the C's are adjacent to each other, or unless it's some weird word like caustic or something but that starts and ends with the C. But I can't really think of one that uses an N there. Um, so uh, one thing you like to try to do when you're playing OMG words is identify common prefixes and common suffixes. Here, a common suff uh, prefix would be un, and I guess a common suffix would be ic or ac or something like that, which isn't tremendously common. There's also iac, but yeah, this is just tremendously difficult. I did try compiling the so uh, website and running it from source on my home dev server. Um, and, uh, I think I was able to compile it, although I think it's interpreted, so never mind on that, but when it came time to actually running the code, I hit several snags, and I assume over time the development team will eventually encounter similar concerns and address them, and so I'm not pushing them on it at all. It's wonderful that for them to have produced the site in the first place. It's wonderful that they've published their code so others can review it and produce similar things if they feel so moved. So that's fantastic. I'm not going to complain. Um, so, yeah, I'll just be patient and see, again, like what I can do just with source code access between being patient and being creative, perhaps something will be possible. Um, so, yeah, UN looks like a very useful prefix here, but this is just really hard. It's the closest thing I could think of was unclean. But that doesn't use two U's. Or I thought of caustic, but that uses letters that aren't present on my rack and, again, does not use both U's. So I guess I could demonstrate at least how it is that you go about guessing these. So you just put your cursor on the board. You can move it around with the Okay, I'm not an expert at how you drive this with the keyboard. It's different than Babel Royale. Um, but you pick something, either click it once or twice, uh, 
to indicate which direction you want it to point. And then you just start typing the letters. Um, I thought another word could occur to me while I'm doing that, but nope. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just stumped. Oh, it could also be something with C-O-Y here. Um... Hmm. Is this even a word? I remember this is like the name of a computer. I This can't possibly be a word, but... You know, I'm just stumped, so I'm gonna guess it anyway. That's not the correct solution. And you can keep trying, or you can concede. Here, let's concede so we can just move on to the next one. So can you show me... Okay. I did not know this word. Uh, if I click on it, definition's not present. That's okay. And you can actually click on the game, drill down, and look at a much deeper analysis. But for our purposes, let's just move on to the next puzzle. Ah, I was afraid of this. So when I was doing the first puzzle, I snipped out this element here, the notepad, so I could see the player one and player two scores. It's not vital to the puzzle, it was just a nice thing to have. But yeah, you can use the notepad to actually help you start like trying to arrange the letters however you want to spell things, if you're not satisfied with how they're shown here. Um, and you can also just shuffle things like this. So I-E-R is a common suffix. That's useful. Um, the closest thing I'm thinking of here is erudite with a D there, not this. So it's not going to work. But um, yeah, it's generally difficult to produce a seven or eight letter word with so many vowels. And it's difficult for me to produce seven or eight letter words that contain a U just because I just don't know all the words. Um, but here, like, if you can hit both triples, that would be fantastic. Uh, I, I can't imagine what else could be, like, the best play here. There's, there's no way that you can build a word across from here hitting this, unless C-R-O-W-E is something, but I can't imagine that being a thing. Um, you want to try to hit some of the double word scores and triple letter uh, squares, unless you have something tremendously creative. But yeah, it's probably something right here, or just any eight through the top row. S is fantastic for building words, but yeah, I, I'm stumped. Um, RE is also a common prefix, but here they're just the balance of the remaining letters would suggest that RE can't possibly be it. Um, what if I put this down? Just uh, can I think of anything that would go before here? I don't think so. Uh, true. No. True I E T. Trust. Trustee. Let's make that our guess, because I am just stumped. All right, what's the word? Sweatier. Didn't know that. Now we know. Perhaps I could have guessed that I did mention the IER suffix, but this just did not occur in my mind. So let's just keep going until we get one, hopefully, that I have some chance at. Um, VVBM. Mm, that's going to be hard. Note that U and V do not have a great chemistry. Um, I don't know what you could stick above or below the U. 
Well, you could stick an M on either side of the U. I don't think B U or U B. I don't think those work. But mu and um both are acceptable. So can we play up here? M A something or M I something down here? We'd like to use a V, but I'm not seeing it. My first thought was to try to use the X with a vertical play, but that seems too difficult here. Um, hmm. So let's just start typing. Cause like this occurs to me, like if this is valid, that looks pretty good. Oh wait, no, hang on. Uh, right. It would be the M here. Um, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine as to what these words are. But this doesn't look super easy. It'd be great to play a V, but I just don't see a great way. Wait, would VAU be? That's 14 points. This is not a terrible leave. Oh, VAV is also a word. Uh, but VAV doesn't seem to fit anywhere. I think this is a word. I'm not sure. But the leftover letters are decent. Okay, let's try again. Um... Yeah, and so this doesn't really tell us, like, how good or bad, or how terrible my guesses are. So, maybe that's a good thing? Um, okay, it's not that. Yeah, I have no idea. Show me. Viva! Okay, I missed the F.A. Well, I saw the F.A. hook, I just missed this in combination with it. That's pretty cool. Let's try another one. Alright. Snooze takes an S. So, if I'd studied my seven-letter words, I would know, like, what the word here is. I have no idea. Um, aunties. Sure. That looks not so bad. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Yeah, we got one. It's probably the only one I'm going to get. All right. Um, see, I know a few words. Okay. Well, we have to play the letters we're dealt. I think this is a word. It looks very wordy to me. All right. Um, it'd be cool to build something here. Like, wharf? Is this an acceptable thing? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, that's not right, then. It'd be cool if it were. Um, I mean, ward is playable, but the leftover letters suck. Um, hmm. I was going to say W-A-R would be great, except we don't have an A. Hmm. I don't know, is this it? This can't possibly be it, but, um... Hmm. No, no, no. Um... Hmm. 
it feels like this is a good spot. I just don't see anything I can play on it that would be valuable. But in general, there's this takes an E. Uh, it takes a T. Does it take other things here? So a D, a T. I don't know. Oh, an E, of course. But yeah, so we have a D. But we can't hit the double there. Um, yeah, I have no idea. What is it? Ferric. That's brilliant. I see as a... Not the most common suffix, but it happens. So ferric is amazing. Nicely done. Alright. Um, I think sinters is a word. Um, hmm. Arsenic. But that doesn't fit. Three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's playable. It might not be. Um, princes. Okay, it's not princes. At least not in that spot. But how could you possibly score more than however many points that was? Like... Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this score 73. The other one that we tried scored 81. Yeah, so that wasn't worth trying here. Um... Hmm. Probably something clever through this O that hits XU. But I don't know anything that could go before XU here. Or maybe it's something through a triple here. Scote, perhaps? I don't know. No? It would help to know the words. Yeah, I give up. Show me what this was. Centrism. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Very cool. Outwares. Okay. Z P A I O R. So I got this arranged in order of uh, tile value and then alphabetically. Because um, sometimes you can just say aloud the consonants and then guess what the vowels are that go between them. But not in this case. So piezo is the first one that occurs to me, but I don't think there's any way to fit piezo on this board. Um, a zip would be cool, except pu is not a word. Topaz could be kind of nice, but again, know where to put it. Um, zip a roof. <laughs> uh, there's no way that's a word. There's probably some awesome eight letter word that just fits here. Probably something opera related. I have no idea. 
Um, just out of amusement. Yeah, PAB is completely incorrect. I don't think it's a word. But, like, I am seriously struggling for what could be a good word here. Know that there's not an open triple letter. Like, you can't just stick down EZ here. There's nowhere to score the Z for a boatload of points unless, like, somehow... Oh, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, it's just removed, right? Um, hmm. Let's see, a zip was the best thing I could think of, but it doesn't fit. Man. The zoo would be nice to fit somewhere. <laughs> Zoe or something. Zoia. But IE definitely isn't a word. Um. Yeah, I'm stumped. Let's not wait here forever. Zobo. Okay, you're just making up words. Define this thing. Oh, it's a male zo. Okay. A cross between a yak and a cow. Oh! All right, well, those words I've seen before. <laughs> I've never seen this one before, but sure. Why not? Um, ISH would be a nice suffix. Um, I wish. You wish. We all wish. Hmm. E Y E could be a fun thing. Um, eyes high. Keeping in mind that there aren't a lot of places to just randomly drop your letters, because like the left side of the board is accounted for. So if you could spell something on the bottom row, that could be an 8. Otherwise, you may be putting the S here and building something vertically. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ugh, that's not great. Um, so it'd be hard to build something vertically as well without hitting this O. Uh, if you could build across from the sea, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, I'm still stumped. Fish eye? Okay, yeah, I could put fish eye here. Is this the correct place to put fish eye? Like, there can't be anywhere else to put it, right? If I move this down to to make OE, the F would be hitting the total, which would not be. That would not fit. If I tried to move this down further, POI would block it from fitting. Um, it doesn't fit horizontally below the I. And yeah, I don't see. I can't just combine fisheye into something else. It's got to be this. Nice. Okay. Um, oxloads. I've seen this word before. So I could stick it here, starting with an O. 
Um, is that the best place to stick it? Would score three points here. You'd score, oh, but you hit the double here. If you were to build a cross MIS, uh, the plural of me, that wouldn't be so great. Um, so unless there's an eight hidden here somewhere, um, it's probably Oxlodes right here. Yeah. <laughs> How about VOX loads? Like the Latin word for voice, vox, vox loads. No, it's just going to be this. Um, are there any bonus squares in the middle? Oh, I'm sorry. So I scored the O twice this way. Whereas if I put the other O up here, I'd score fewer points. This looks correct. Oh, come on. Come on. That's a word, right? Oh, it's not a word. Come... <clears throat> hmm. What am I thinking of? What made me think that I've seen that before? Because I was really confident. Uh, well... I mean, the S is usually the first or last letter in such a word. It might not be a seven-letter word, then. Because... It's got to fit on this board. With the tiles we have. Um, I mean, I could just play off tax here for 20. That's not it. Um... It'd be great to score the X twice if I could build two words with it. Um, I think this is a word. I don't remember. Um, hmm. I mean, I think also docs is a word. Yeah, I have... I'm stumped. Let's find the word. Oxlands. Okay. Define Oxland. The place where you find an ox, right? Oh, as much land as one ox could plow. All right. Well, we tried. <laughs> Yeah. So to those suggesting how can we get more casual players to show up at tournaments? I don't know that it would motivate me to show up, but it without knowing the words, um it seems a disincentive to like not allow players to use a book during the game. The player's not going to get much, if any, advantage from using a book. And while this is, like, uh, something you'd see during family games, you know, I don't know. I think it could be fun to allow players uh, access to whatever book they want. I guess then it presents an access problem that some players might not have the correct versions of the correct books, and that creates headaches for tournament organizers, but if the goal is to grow the tournament scene, maybe consider it. There might be better ways, I don't know, but, like, it's just, like, why would I go to a tournament if I don't know all the words? It could be fun to hang out with people, but I have other social activities, too. So, anyway, back to puzzles. I've been juggling these here. I don't see nothing. Abaca or something. But I don't see anywhere to put it. It'd be cool to build something here, starting with BA. Uh, 
I don't see it though. It'd be cool to build something in front of Kite. That would be really fun, but again, what can I do? It'd be nice to have like bacteria, but oh, welcome. Yep, here we are. I've gotten two puzzles out of somewhere around eight through ten. So I'm scoring maybe one in five doesn't seem right. I'm pretty sure I'm doing worse than one in five. But uh, we're still giving it a the good the old the good old college try, as they say. All right, so that's a legal word. I know that word. I don't know this, but you know it looks like it could be a word. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, ah, uh, bacteria is a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be easier like if I could just like you know I'm just gonna trade this off and take a different tile and oh hey look I've got to play now. But um, you know if that is a if this is a word this is probably it. Um, if that's not a word then like the twenty po or thirty points is not that terrible. I was about to dismiss this as being equally bad as an illegal word. But 30 could maybe be the goal, but again, seems super unlikely. You'd think you'd score better. Oh, also, like, there's space up here, like, a bat. Uh, cat a bat or something. I don't know. Um, uh, bat ick. But what would go in front? A A Batic, Ray Batic, Habatic? I don't know. So the play you choose has to be ten points better than the next best play. Or more. Oh, okay. That's a good guiding principle. <laughs> uh yeah, it seems like a quarter of these are borderline impossible. Um, even if you did know the words. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that there would be something extraordinary in this position. Um, like, if I were looking for something extraordinary, where would I put it? This wouldn't fit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seems unlikely. Um, Cabal? I like that. Yeah, that, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. So, I'm also not allergic to making guesses, failing it, and then trying again a few times, so... Out of sheer curiosity, I would like to try this. Um, yeah, so Cabal, unfortunately, is not it. So 39 was a good score. I was pretty happy with 39. Um, but yeah, if I were to stick something like crazy on the board... Where could that even fit? Yeah, I mentioned this earlier that it'd be really funny to build something through Kite. But, well, there are seven spaces to the left of Kite. Um, I don't know Kite would take a suffix here other than an S. That would allow prefixing it as well. Uh... Rearrange these first four. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I didn't intend to place that just yet, but yeah, there. We have rearranged the first four of this. Uh, so, okay. 
Does this even fit somewhere? What? Um... Where could this fit? Uh, oh, A, B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so then we want to put the blank on this one. Oops, no, I'm sorry. The blank's going to go there just because I somehow miscounted and thought the blank was going to be an A. No, the blank is obviously the X. So this scores 82. 82 is at least 10 or more, more than 39. So let's give it a go. Yeah! Woo! Thanks, Josh. <sighs> so, yeah, obviously everyone here knows, but we've got the Josh command. So, uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, you mean equity. Not just the face value of the play, but also considering what gets left behind. In this case, there's no tiles left behind. That could be a fun category, no tile left behind. But anyway, um, yeah, sometimes you get tiles left behind that are terrible. Sometimes um, you get tiles left behind that make it easy to score a high-scoring play next turn. You know... I just felt like this would be a fantastic opportunity to test that. I don't think this is a word. Um, like, I see jeer, J-E-E-R. I, I think I see A-J-E-E. -E. Um, I mean, this is definitely not a word, right? Because a G is an adjective. So let me figure out what's the correct way for me to fail this by playing the word vertically. Oh, it's a somewhat obscure five. Ah, uh, all right. I'm pretty sure they didn't uh, address that yet, but it'd be really cool if they were allowing vertical openings. Um. So yeah, I'm more than willing to try it out. Um, let's see. So it's down to sort, up to shuffle. Uh, but so I don't drive you mad, I should keep the tiles in this kind of order. Or not shuffle them a ridiculous amount. So, oh. I mean, I know Raja. Oh wait, we don't have that. Uh, hmm. A-E could potentially be a suffix. Um, hmm. Rija. Why not, right? All right. I'm going to take to cheating right here. Uh, anagram. Let's see. What do I want to try anagramming here? Anagram. Oh, Jared. Define Jared. A wooden oriental javelin. Okay. I see, so this comes from Arabic and has these other spellings, but also has a spelling that has an I. Yeah, I was going to say, this doesn't look like how any other English word I've seen spelled is spelled, but we see that it has other spellings that have these E's in them, and that looks more like something anglicized. Oh. All right, so yeah, I don't think they accept that just yet. But, um, wait, can I take my playback and try it this way? Yeah, no, I got it right the first attempt. I don't care what this says. I got it right, but yeah, I cheated too. Um, let's see. Uh... What in the world? 
V and U are not the greatest combination of tiles ever. Um, we have like mauve over here. <laughs> well, okay. So we got to beat 12 by 10 or more. Mm -hmm. Bingo through the R over here. Uh, okay. Mm. And it's not like I can end this with A-R-Y. Because the R is in row 5. Um, hmm. Hmm. A Y E or E Y E or something now. Oh, goodness. Oh, me, oh, my. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to struggle with it a little bit here before throwing in the towel. I mean, I don't know, like, guava, but if I were to play guava, what do I have left over? Y-E. So, yeah, that I can't, like, make that fit. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's some chance I might have heard this one because it has enough tiles. It has an A and A and E a Y, and a blank. So, like, there's some chance, given this tile distribution, that's not a completely obscure word. It could be just barely on the threshold of being common enough uh, that I might have some idea what it might be. It's still going to be painful, but, you know, there's a chance. Oh, vowel, consonant, vowel, double consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. Okay, probably the double consonant sequence has the R in it, too, because it'd be really hard to... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Starts with a vowel and ends with a vowel. It ends with only one vowel and has a consonant before the end of it. Hmm. Well, so if I imagine something like this, or even that, I don't know. Um, again, this might not be vertically in the right spot. Um, hmm. Actually, uh, yes, please tell me what the blank is, because, uh, this is challenging. Um. D. Okay. D A U E. Uh, hmm. Okay. Four vowels. And I've got four vowels, so we're calling the Y a consonant. Um.
Uh, no, that doesn't look right. Hmm. Well, it's okay. So it ends with an A and begins with an A. Um, let's see. One thing I see so it has better is it present that oh the, the blank designation can just stay here. Actually, it occurs to me, I have this notepad. I've never used it before. Um, but yeah, I've got other letters that go here. This is actually a fixed width font, so... But still, it's... Hmm. Oh, and also I could, <laughs> by default, this is lowercase. I could make my own user style to change that, but also I could just like have caps lock on, not have to think about it, so. All right. Uh, ah, I think like Nirvana, interesting. Um, move this over here. Wait, I've got two V's. That's not right. I need a D somewhere. Um, hmm. I guess the point of having this is that I should move these around a bit. That's possible this R could be located elsewhere in the word. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you might be right. Um, all right, well, I gave it the old college try. It's possible if I stay here another half hour, it might or might not occur to me. Ayurveda. Ah, interesting. Let's see. The traditional, well, okay, but still, um, that's really cool. Yeah, some of, uh, so it's my own damn fault. 
uh, when you first select that you want to do puzzles, it asks you which le lexicon you would like to attempt this with. I, for whatever reason, had selected, oh yeah, let, let's do this, uh, you know, using uh, the world lexicon, the CSW, which obviously for me is a bit crazy. Um, it's a funny starting point. I don't see a settings button just yet to switch me over to the common English lexicon, although I thought that could be a bit dull. Plus, I don't know which words are omitted from CEL anyway. Uh, yeah, that's entirely possible. Um, yeah, I've heard similar words, but nothing quite so close here. Uh, there's also not enough CEL games to generate a lot of puzzles anyway. That makes sense, too. Yeah, some of these are just crazy difficult. Um, I do like, though, that there are some that are doable. Um, <laughs> plus, this gives me a chance to see, like, instead of during an actual game i would sit there and be like well i have no idea if there's something here or not so i'm not going to try here at least there you know that there's going to be something the problem is you might not know the word but that's different so here i see c i n q song but don't seem to fit anywhere uh be cool if it did um, yeah. What else could it be? A Q-I-Chi would be nice to fit somewhere, but I don't see that either. Um, unless Digi. That'd be funny. Um, hmm. I mean, I could spell nice here. 17 points. But unless like Nix E, which that doesn't seem right. Yeah, what could it be? What could it be? Let's shuffle this a bit. See if we get any ideas. Oh, Xenic. X-E-N-I-C. Doesn't fit anywhere. Cool word, though. Well, it fits here, right? Does it fit anywhere else? Is B-I-D-I a word? Um, the way it generates and makes them... <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, this is an excellent starting point for puzzles. And again, fantastic work by the Woogles team making the source available. So this can, if, if somehow it's not adequate to everybody's needs, it's possible for folks to like uh, check, choose whatever programming language they want to rewrite it in and rewrite it in that other language and just model the constructs and such uh, similarly, but borrow the ideas by examining how the code is uh, written. Yeah, I think BIDI is a word. We're going to check it. It's not a word. Dang. Well, that would be cool. Um, we're also going to check uh, this. No. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. Why do I have... Yeah. Yeah, now that's... <laughs> if you look at closely at those two responses, one of them has an asterisk, the other doesn't. Ah, uh, I have to fix my bot. Damn it. Oh well. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Alright, let's check... Define this word. Yeah, alright. So I screwed up somehow. I'll have to fix whatever I broke in my bot. But yeah, one of them had the asterisk, the other didn't. So anyway, that's not the fault of this site. It's just my own 
goofy programming when I rewrote large parts of the bot to consume less memory so I could run multiple instances of the bot at the same time, one for Twitch, one for Discord. But um, also tuned a lot of performance-related stuff and added some new commands, but apparently I broke the check command. Although everyone uses define instead of check anyway, so... But yeah, I should fix it. Um, Alright, feels like an R would fit here quite nicely. But... The rest of the word? <laughs> it's Greek to me. No. Um, you can't even spell Greek there. King ear? IER is a nice suffix. Just stick IER off to the side. King ear. It's the only thing that that can't possibly be a word. But you know, that doesn't stop me from trying it anyway. Let's check it here first. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. ING is also a suffix. Um, <sighs> I-E-R-K. Um, yeah, I don't see anything that would use all the tiles. That'd be cool. But, um... Hmm... Another idea would be to stick the K here and somehow hit the double word score. Um, that can't be a word. That doesn't stop me from trying it, though. <sighs> yeah. Um... Oh, it has to be 10 or more points equity-wise better than the next play down. So it's got to be a decently scoring play then. Hmm. Yeah, when it says significantly better than the second best play, that's in terms of both the points scored and the leave that you leave behind. It has some kind of notion of equity well, when you put it all together. Um, so... What could it be? I do take some amusement in the players actually solving the impossible ones and sharing their solutions on uh, the Google's Discord server. Or even live streaming doing it. It just is absolutely crazy that anybody could do that. Um... So yeah, I'm doing this in part just to set like the baseline for when s those other players are doing fantastic things. Um, I'd be your much more casual player to compare that to, and so it gives, I don't know, somehow viewers can have some appreciation for uh, when they even find the second best play. It's like miles ahead of where I'm at right now. So, I think it's good to have a baseline. Yeah, ING keeps sticking together. But, there doesn't seem to be anywhere to play that. Sexton, Sextons would take an S, but probably not any of these other letters. Um... Be awesome to <sighs> I don't know any word that would go through the OF, but it would be really fun to have one. Um Yeah, okay, we're just gonna give up on this and see what it is. 
Oh, goodness. Irking. Well, okay, that did not occur to me. I kept pronouncing the R in my mind. I kept pronouncing the K in my mind. And so I kept pronouncing that as a hard R and a hard K. This notion of the I being first and the word being irking did not cross my mind. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, Josh. Thanks for stopping by. Um, let's see. Let's see. It feels like if there's something that would go down here. I-E-S-T is a nice suffix. L-I-K-E is a nice suffix. Set like could potentially be a word. Doesn't fit anywhere. Unless it fits right here. But no, D-E. It's a preposition. Right? Um, yeah. So, potentially, set like fits immediately here. But it's not a word. I-E-S-T could be a suffix. But... It would have to play through something. Um, unless somehow. Like, there's. This is not a word because there is an English word. Like, there's leaks, I think, are an animal. But there's also the word leaky, but that has an A. Like, this would not be a word. Also, IL. Um, it's not there. Yeah, keel would be a nice word, but it doesn't fit here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm stumped. I haven't found the spot for the answer yet. Okay, so it's not the spot. Wow. Uh, it'd be cool if that were the spot, but uh, it's... with these letters, that seems unlikely. Um, I mean, this kind of looks like a nice spot, but I can't see doubly scoring the K or I can't fit the K on the triple letter score. What else would be a spot? Wouldn't that be great? But I'd have to like, there's no way to fit a letter in front of Fawz that I'm aware of. Um, hmm. I mean, I <laughs> just drop an S right there for 14, 24, 14. No, that's no good. Wait. This clearly isn't it. It only scores 36 and, like, burns the S. There's no way, but... Wait a second. Okay. But... Wait. There's nothing that could fit here, right? Uh, this looks cool. But... Like, that would be absolutely insane if that were a word. That can't be. But, you know, just imagine. Yeah. Um... You have to have a really strong imagination. I mean, maybe this could be a spot. Um, oh, wait. Hasty Bot would play the S below that. That doesn't seem right. 
Hmm. Plus, it doesn't score 10 or more equity-wise than the next thing down. Um, so... I don't know. A cross to Thaws would be amazing. That doesn't seem right either. Oft? OFT? But like... What could this be if it's ET something? Like, I'm making up words at this point because I have no idea. Um... I'm just guessing. I mean, it's got to score a lot, given how this board is laid out. There are just a lot of places that to score 10 plus points, so this has got to be much higher than 20, I would think. Um... <laughs> yeah, I guess for noobs it'd be fun to have oh by the way, you need to score like at least this much as the goal. Just telling a noob like um this is kind of where your target score would be. That could be one way to clue without telling everything, but it might tell too much. Hmm. hmm. I mean, if there were an 8 here, that'd be great. Answer is a bingo. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> L-I-K-E is probably the suffix. <sighs> um... Because it's just hard to imagine where else the K could fit on this board. Still, I guess I'll shuffle it a bit. Maybe something else will occur to me. I mean, I'm not opposed to you also disclosing the answer if you want. I don't care enough, because, like, this is terrifically difficult. But, um, at least it feels difficult. Wouldn't it be great? DID and then just place seven tiles across here. DIDE something. That would be an insane bingo. Yeah, Ox, like, looks decent. It's 34, it's a nice score. Wait. Oh, that's right. We saw the other day this... Have I seen this puzzle before on <laughs> somebody else's stream? If I did, it wasn't an hour where I was not fully awake. But, um... Hmm... What could it be, then? <laughs> uh... Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we got it in seven attempts. Kelties. All right. A 
bumper or glass filled to the brim, uh, especially one imposed as a forfeit. Um, that has me with, I mean, that's a good definition, but now I have more questions. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, one imposed as a forfeit. Probably something game related with a drink. Um, uh, this, I see five vowels on my rack. This looks hard. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Something crazy like this, right? Dang. Oh, well, we tried. That's interesting. By default, it shows it in my preferred ordering, but after I fail it, then it puts this in alphabetical order. And I'll blame it. Um, I can get this one. Uh, let's see. Loudiage. State of something being loud. Now, AGE is a nice suffix. Uh, eulogize somehow? Uh, no. I, A, G, E. What, what, what would the rest of this be? No. Um, hmm. Goalie with the U left over? Doesn't seem right. Uh, something through AT. Because we just. I've got five vowels. This has got to go through some consonant. And I would think that I would see this through the D at the bottom, but. Um, O-U-T would be a nice prefix or a suffix, but... Um... But there's not a T open. Hmm. Oh, it's a common English word through the D. Well, interesting. Um, hmm. well, okay, it's got a... It'll be likely to end in ED, then. ED is a common suffix. But... Uh... Hmm. Maybe it doesn't end in ED. Maybe not. Maybe it ends in ADE or something. Hmm. OID? Uh, it's almost like plagued, but no. That ain't it. Um, 
G-I-A-L is another suffix, but that doesn't fit here. Um... It is interesting, like, the D is in the middle of this completely open row. So this could build either direction. <laughs> oh. There we go. Yeah. Uncommon suffix. Um... I'm going to say it's not also the most common prefix, but hey, we got it. Thank you. Uh, craze is the first thing that occurs to me. But, oh, graze is almost as good. Uh, It's hard for me to imagine something that's better equity-wise than this. Unless there's something like starting or ending with a Z. That would be nuts. Um, Definitely looks like craze to me. Let's try it. No? no? When I said definitely, I meant like at least 60-70% in my mind. Not completely, but I was pretty sure that craze is a good play. Apparently there's something better. What the heck? <laughs> It's got a starter end with a Z then. You're going to score better than Craze. Hmm. Have a. <laughs> yeah, you can spell that out of these tiles, right? C E Z A R. Cesar. <laughs> All right, but Craze scored the same. But, um, <laughs> um, hmm. strange. Hmm. Sorry if my shuffling tiles disturbs people. But I'm going to struggle if I don't do this, so I'm going to do it. I could also struggle if I do it. All right, we'll put it back. Um, hmm. Something that's significantly better than the second best play. No, clearly it means I should play it vertically, then. Clearly that's what this is getting at. <laughs> um, wait. I mean, this is an uncommon word that I learned. But, or at least uncommon to me. Some unfamiliar to me, but that doesn't score much here. Um, hmm. 
Well, just for fun, let's draw a random word from the dictionary. Because why not? <laughs> a person supporting a coalition of liberal and labor groups. Oh, I'm sorry, I have the capture set incorrectly. Let's set it back this way. I'm still stumped, but... Um, that craze looks still quite good. It's still a graze and craze store, score almost the same amount, so... Oh, this solution has to be better than either of them. Um, so... I have to think of a word that starts or ends with a Z. Because that's the only way I'm going to score much better. Um, and it's probably starting with a Z as opposed to ending one with one. Words in English that end with a Z tend to end with multiple Zs, or at least the ones I can think of, but yeah. I guess, though, this dictionary supports alternate spellings, so yeah, maybe it could be at either end. Um... Hmm. Oops. Crayons. There we go. <laughs> That's a valid word, right? Kids use crayons to make a drawing. It's very phonetic. Also, yeah, an opponent would challenge that in a heartbeat. Or much faster. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to take a look at this, because Sarnik. I see. What is a Sarnik? A native sulfide of arsenic. Okay. I could see that. Diction oh, dictionary does say Arabic. I was going to say this doesn't specify which language it got derived from, but no, this does originate from Arabic. And now the clue earlier of Iva Cesarnik from Cesar here, or 14 Domino. Now the clue makes sense. Oh, to this puzzle URL. Um, This might be tricky, but let's see if I can do this. Copy that. Open a separate chat window. Don't mind the echo. And drop the, when my dashboard allows me to drop the link into my chat window. There we go. Finally connected. There we go. Yeah, let's try the next puzzle here. Oh, I see vid, and my first thought is avid. But eh, it'd be nice to score some points too, and not just play some fun word. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yep, you're welcome. That is for sure a unique link. <laughs> uh, there's enough characters in that link to guarantee that. Yeah, that's going to be unique for a long time. <laughs> um, I 
East Nut. <laughs> Aunties, except not really. Well, maybe. Except it doesn't fit anywhere. Also, it doesn't seem right. Um, given this open R here, like... We get a centaur, right? That's not how you spell any of that, but we can dream. Um, senator. <laughs> it's like a senator, but also a bull. Senator. Uh... All right, well, that's 77 points. But can we do better? Oh, is there... Oh, there is an exchange button. <laughs> yeah, I could try the exchange button. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> but yeah, I see. Uh... Let's submit this. No, it's not Senator. All right. Um. Hmm. UN is a prefix, but doesn't look like. I don't know if it's like on astray or something. That doesn't seem right. Um, F A V is a word. Uh, this is nineteen. This is not anywhere near good enough. Also, that's probably not a word. Um. Yeah, I mean, I've got to find the bingo here. I just don't know it. Let's just move on to the next puzzle. Nauseate. Okay. That makes sense. Not the easiest one to find. But, yeah, very good. Uh, between uh, beginner bot and this player name, which I don't know how to pronounce. Oh, here's a relatively open board that just tests my knowledge of words. Um, don't know whether to be pleased or scared or intimidated by it. Um, A dentist. Um, it feels like if I knew a bingo, it would go with the S across the top of have for shave. Actually, no, this is a better scoring lane, isn't it? But still. Um, probably ends in ED. But no, hmm. I mean, steadied occurs to me S T E A D I. Yeah, I have nowhere near. Uh, IST is a nice suffix, but 
daintiest is a nine letter word and we yeah we're not there either um yeah, i don't know So, I guess as a general policy, unless I take an extreme fascination with any given problem, I don't probably spend more than five minutes on a problem. Because if I don't see it right away, am I ever going to see the word? Not likely. Instated. Um... It would be good to have a way to find the word, but, uh, yeah. I did identify ed as a suffix, but still finding the rest of this was hard. Uh, you would think the s goes the beginning or the end of the word, but no, it's right there in stated. I guess you have to find stated first. Or just have a way of finding it. Yeah, so it feels less intimidating, but also more embarrassing when, like, I have a wide open board like this. And if I just don't see it, it's just an embarrassment. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not perfect. So, like, the first thing that occurred to my mind is the word tonnage, but that's not how you spell tonnage. Um, negation. Uh, I would have to go through an A. So does that fit here? N, E, G. E, G is not a word. So it would have to be down this column. For 63. No. Wait, but it, it's not this. Okay, so negation's not it. There's a better scoring word by at least 10 points, or something that's significantly better scoring than negation. I was happy with negation. Um, hmm. Hmm. What the heck? Okay, so something ending in C, perhaps, but that's still, like, how much could that possibly score? Or something through the G. But, like, it have to be, like, nitrogen or something. Um... Eighty-six. Now let's just back up a second. I'm gonna guess this. Sixty-three. Okay, so this is actually a really significant difference. I just really needed to see the math for myself that like a double word and a double word with seven tiles, most of which score only a single point. It's actually a significant, um, like that's a 20 point gap roughly. Just playing this one file over. And we've missed both triple letter scores here. But um, yeah, apparently this makes a big difference. I have no idea. Um. I-E-R is a nice suffix, but we don't have the vowels to support a bingo there. Um, marriage. <laughs> uh, German. Oh my goodness. 
Well, so much for having the puzzles with a wide open board. They can't all be so easy. Um... Okay, re-something. Um... Merging? M-E-R-G... No. I-N-G is a nice suffix. Let's put it on the side. Hmm. Murring? Um... Hmm. Even if that were a word, would it fit somewhere? That'd have to be a word through the I here. Marrying? No. Hmm. Emerging. But there's not another G open. If I try something, E M E R. Oh, I don't have a second E anyway. Um. Hmm. A-N-E-R. Migrainer. Nope. That doesn't fit. Yeah, I'm stumped. Show me. <sighs> that's awesome. It's not a bingo. But it scores fantastically. That's a bit tricky to spot, I would say. Let's move on. Oh my goodness. Five vowels, two consonants. It's a good puzzle. It's a hard puzzle. Hmm. Like, I think of the word dotage, but that's not it. Um, be cool. Here we have Agister. You could just drop an M there, you'd have Magister, but you'd have this other thing that's not a word. Um, Feels like if there were something could fit here. But no, what about this? Is there something across from the Z? So we have like Zoe, which does not take a D, but if it did. Oh, well, is there something like this? Zewage? Zewaged? I don't know. Zooead? Zoo something, but I have no idea. Oh, a Collins word you actually know. Hmm. Well, <laughs> that sets the stage. Um, hmm. I mean, uh, 
seems unlikely I'd find something from the R to here. Ray's good. <laughs> uh, seems unlikely. Okay, so I was close here earlier. I mean, this is like the first thing that came to mind. Um, AGE is a nice suffix. AGO. That doesn't seem right. Zewaged seems unlikely. Um, I have to try something, but this doesn't seem like a word. But on the off chance, no, that ain't it. So. Um, hmm. I mean, the other thing would be something down here, which I also briefly considered, but I goo. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, I liked the I goo play. Apparently, Hasty Pot would not play it. Um... A G. Zoo a G. One who travels through a zoo. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to let the puzzle show me the answer. Really? Didn't know that. Zooie. Really?
the larval stage of crabs. Also, oh, okay. I see. So the American lexicon supports this with one O. Apparently, yeah, the international lexicon also supports the version with two O's. So here you have five consecutive vowels. Okay. Yeah, I gave up after five attempts on this one. Um, I think we did a lot of good puzzle solving today. It's probably time for me to break for dinner. So I hope we enjoyed this together. And who knows, we might try it again sometime.